What's going on guys and welcome back to the Road to Nebula Challenge on Call of Duty Black Ops 6 Zombies. If you haven't seen my previous videos which are on the XM4 and AK74, I'll leave the links down in the description below. So anyway, in today's video we are going to do the MES85 Assault Rifle. And this is a very interesting weapon for me because when I first started using this, the gun felt extremely weak and not very nice to use and... It wasn't a, I wasn't getting a good vibe from it at the start, everything just felt a bit off with it, it was really um, painful to kill zombies in the head and I felt like I was running out of ammo a lot more quickly. Um, so the start of this wasn't so great, but when I built this weapon up over time things did get a little bit easier. So anyway, we're on Liberty Falls at the moment, um, I'm playing Liberty Falls a bit more than Terminus overall because it's a lot easier to get the headshots and get the kills. But, um, you know what, still keeping it varied as much as possible. Um, at the moment we're staying for the critical kills, which isn't too difficult, it just takes a very long time. And I'll jump right to the end of this match and let you know how I get on. You know what, to be quite honest with you, I did fairly well in my first game, considering this gun's very wonky and quite difficult to use. I got to around 31, not too bad, but then a mangler, boom shot me and then I died and it wasn't very great but I was actually able to get over 800 headshots in this game which is a huge boost meaning I only have 1200 to get before I get the um, critical kills um, camo out of the way which is definitely the hardest one in this game so yeah progress is being made and let's move on to our next match so during this next game, I made a bit of a crazy decision. I thought for the first time I'd actually play with other people in a public match. Now public matches are known for being a little bit of a disaster and to be honest I can see why. Um, I mean I've played past Call of Duty Zombies games in the past and people end up going down all the time. People don't know what they're doing. But you know what, I thought, since this is Liberty Falls, it's probably one of the most simplistic zombies maps of all time. Surely people have got half a brain to get stuff right. And you know what, to be honest with you, this public game wasn't too terrible. And I actually ended up doing something really good in this public game, and that was the um, Dark Ops Challenge. We reached around 30 without going down. I did it in a public game. I was really surprised myself because I thought I was going to go down because of the other teammates making stupid mistakes. But lord and behold, they didn't. And we actually survived to a pretty high round. I'll show you a second. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I don't commonly get to round 30 plus on any zombies mode or any zombies map. But surprisingly enough, we did. And this team held it down pretty well. I was actually really surprised that people knew how to build the jet gun on this map and do other little Easter eggs like that. So we got pretty far. There was no communication involved whatsoever. And as you can see here, we're on the exfil process, killing the zombies off. And we had time to spare, guys. Like, I was thinking this exfil was going to be a disaster. Um, but it wasn't. I mean, I think Liberty Falls X was really, really difficult, but it, it, surprisingly enough, this was absolutely fine, and we were able to play the cutscene out. I mean, check this out. I mean, we did really, really well. I was... <laughs> I'm speechless, to be honest with you, because this does not normally happen. I mean, you guys know this better than... If you're a Zombies player, you know that public matches are a no-go zone, and this was a risky thing to do, but it actually helped me towards my um, camo grind, ultimately, and I achieved a lot by doing it. So in this game I was actually able to get over 1500 critical kills altogether. so we need just less than 500 to get the 2000 so yeah this is looking good. So this time around I switched it back up to Terminus because I had two games of Liberty Falls and I was getting a bit drained of playing that so I thought you know what it's time to give Terminus some love in this video. And my MES, I hate saying this gun name, AMES85, -A -A don't know why I keep saying MES, but AMES85 was looking strong this time, I had a lot more attachments on it, and um, as a result of all the attachments, 11 and the gun up through doing this camo grind, things were a lot easier, and like getting kills was a lot more quick. If you compare it to the first um, part of this video, the kills were much more slow, and it was much more difficult to get the headshots, but because I've got the attachments that I need, it's a lot easier, and things were looking on the up. What I've noticed about camo grides in this game in particular, I feel like once you level your gun up and you get those attachments on there and you have the right upgrades etc, it gets easier and easier as you work through the gun. I say the beginning bit when I'm grinding is a little bit tricky because the guns at its weakest and doesn't deal as much damage and get those critical kills, stroke headshots is much more challenging. But I've noticed now it's a lot easier um, to like level up my weapon and things like that. 
Um, I've also got another tip actually. Um, I still strongly recommend the Samantha challenges if you can. Because what you'll find is you're able to get the um, rarer tiers of your weapon earlier. Because a lot of the time um, when you get the mastery challenges done, and they're very, very easy. A lot of them to like get crouch kills or get a certain number of headshots. It's not that bad and you have plenty of time to do it. And more zombies do spawn if you run out. You get these purple-eyed zombies here and they prove really useful. Um, because when I've opened these chests and stuff in the past, I've got um, weapon upgrades and all sorts. I even got I even got pack a punch drop on one of these, and it makes your life a lot easier because it saves your points and you can upgrade your gun to the top tier that a little bit more quickly, making killing the zombies a much easier process. I was really frustrated with myself in this game, however, as I managed to get all 2,000 headshots throughout critical kills, which is really, really good, but I managed to get myself surrounded by zombies. I took a wrong turn and shouldn't have come to this part of the map. Tried to open this door and I couldn't because obviously it's got the explosive timer situation and those doors really do annoy when you're in a tricky situation it's an absolute nightmare and I was really gutted about that because I was so close because all I have to do now is I have to get 300 kills with brain rot and 300 eliminations of it rare tier or above and I had that set up on my gun ready to go for this match but I didn't quite get there I was really disappointed. So I end up loading another game of Liberty Falls. I know I've played a lot of Liberty Falls in this video, but the map is simply just that much quicker in terms of getting the camos overall. Um, I was working towards the challenge where you have to kill 10 enemies rapidly 15 times. I completed the other two regarding the brain rot and the rare or above eliminations. So I was just focusing on killing zombies really, really quickly. And you can probably guess what happens next. I do manage to complete the challenge. Then when I get to round 19, boom, Mystic Gold Camo achieved. And to be quite honest with you, that last challenge where you have to kill 10 enemies rapidly 15 times took a lot longer than I thought it would. I was expecting to have it done within a couple of rounds, but it actually took about 10 rounds plus to do it. I think it's due to the fact when you're on the early rounds, less zombie spawns, so it feels like it's a lot longer with the spawns and stuff. But I was managed to complete it nonetheless. I'm really, really proud of myself. I'm glad I completed it. We can move on to the next weapon, which is excellent stuff. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.